Hello and welcome, I'm Sim UK. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Planet Zoo is probably one of the most hotly anticipated releases since No Man's Sky. Let's hope it's received a little better than that was, and in all certainty, I think it will be, because there is plenty of evidence to suggest that Planet Zoo will be a massive success. Already, many of the big YouTubers are helping to promote the game, and hailing the quality of delivery, plus the depth and complexity of the care system and in-game build mechanics. I can hardly wait to get my hands on it and give it a full review. I'm sure you've already heard pretty much everything there is to hear about Planet Zoo, and to be honest, the only reason I'm even making this video today is because my daughter is so excited she just cannot wait even one more day. Okay, it's me. It's me who can't wait one more day. I'm very excited, but for very good reasons. Let's discuss the top five things that I'm most excited about with Planet Zoo and why. Maybe I know something that you don't, or I thought about it in a way that you haven't. I mean, probably not, but maybe. So we've all heard and no doubt are very impressed with the fact that each animal is going to be unique, not just the way that it looks, but the way it behaves. This probably seems quite trivial at first, but when you contemplate how much this could add to the immersion, then for me at least, it becomes considerably more, more protuberant. Potentially, you will be able to identify each animal by looks alone, and this will encourage referring to them by name. And as each animal's behavior is supposedly unique, this could easily lead to situations where you say something like, oh, that's Spike. He likes to climb, so we built him this elaborate climbing frame. Honestly, I don't know if this level of realism is actually going to be realised because nobody has yet really, honestly, reviewed the game, but I do hope that it will be. The care system. Now, we've already seen evidence of this with Jurassic World Evolution, where each dinosaur has certain spatial and environmental needs, and I suspect that Planet Zoo is going to be very similar to that. What I think is going to happen, and indeed what I hope is going to happen, is that the number of placeable objects and the terrain editors are considerably more advanced than they were in JWE. There is a lot of evidence to suggest that this is going to be the case, and that fills me with great anticipation and delight at the prospect of really making the zoo look the way that I want it to. I have seen evidence of just how grand and spectacular things can look on Planet Zoo, and I have to say, it is truly mesmeric. Conservation. Now, I'm not one for politically correct alignment. I actually think it's healthy for people to be out of alignment with what is considered to be socially acceptable as I believe it tests the foundation of that social acceptability and challenges each and every one of us to consider if what we perceive to be just and right actually is. And zoos in particular are a hotbed of conflicting opinions in this very subject. Animals that are endangered can be saved through the work of zoos and conservationists. Equally, there's the argument that animals should be free and not caged both are valid, and the reality is that this is a very tricky situation. There is also the consideration that as much as zookeepers genuinely do love and care for their animals, given the opportunity, some of those animals will kill you on the spot, as unfortunately we have seen a number of times. And part of me thinks, who can blame them? So I'm not in any way anti-zoo, certainly not, not by any means, but I do, however, often struggle with the idea of animals living in captivity. So I am glad that Planet Zoo really has been sympathetic of this and have intertwined an element of education into proceedings, and I expect to learn from this game as much as enjoy playing it. I'm really looking forward to seeing the animal interactions. We have seen snippets of this, but nothing really definitive yet. 
I'm especially intrigued as to how parents and children interact with each other and further titillated by the claim that offspring personalities emanate from their parents, which for me opens the doors for some interesting scientific experimentation potentially. Where would any top five list be without discovery and visuals? Planet Zoo offers the potential to set up zoos all over the world. And in doing so, there is the additional potential to learn new and interesting things about animals I know nothing about, countries and environments that I know nothing about. Neither you nor I are ever likely to be able to get that close and up and personal with an animal like that. And Project Zoo looks so good, so detailed and of course, so realistic that it is tantamount to actually being there in the cage with the animal themselves. This game has a truly astounding potential to widen horizons and educate children and parents alike. And for me, that is really important. So these are just my five key things, the things that I'm constantly thinking about for tomorrow's release, and I'm really excited for it. I am, of course, interested in what you're looking forward to. Maybe you think the game is going to be trash. I think that's rather unlikely, but maybe. I rather suspect that the game is so highly anticipated that it's just going to be a massive explosion of content coming straight out from everywhere, my channel included. And to be honest with you, I've booked a week off work. I am so going to get into this game. I'm really excited about it. and. Um, yeah, hopefully you are too. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to seeing. Oh, not long now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye for now.